people don't come here to be holed up with multiple other nationalities in accommodation that is not fit for purpose. That is supposed to be a hotel. It's supposed to be temporary accommodation for tourists having a holiday here. Why would people come here otherwise? What would be your take on it? Because you have stoked some controversy with your view that numbers should be capped. You have said that before. Um, and your, your own view and that some would say, well, look, that's the view of the same people who are protesting at the weekend outside emergency accommodation centres. Yeah, well, I suppose, look, first of all, I don't agree with any protesting outside any centres. Um, I think there's responsible ways to protest above outside the doll or different places that is outside asylum seekers uh, wh where they're staying is not appropriate, in my view. Um, for, I, I want to, first of all, say as Mayor of Kerry that I'm very proud of the people of Kerry for what they have done for the people of Ukraine um, over the past since the war has started. But I must say that the welcome and the, real, the reality is that the welcome was there, that the welcome that was there at the start of the war is not there today. And why not? Because of a failed system that has caused a divide, in my view, um, and the view of the people out there. Um, I'm, I'm listening to people every day of the week. And the way that the system has been put forward it has caused a divide. And I think what a big issue is, you have people are getting Ukrainian refugees and different refugees mixed up. There has been trouble, and we're all aware of that over the past couple of, uh, couple of weeks and months. And <coughs> I suppose, look, there is no plan. There never has been a plan, in my view. It was John Francis Villain who said the welcome that was there at the beginning for refugees is no longer there now. Do you agree with him? I, I think that I am um, initially, I, I, to be quite honest, appalled at the loose language around these are human beings coming to Ireland seeking refuge in the case of the international protection applicants. Those who are fleeing the war in Ukraine, our enemy there, our their enemy there is Putin, who is murdering Ukrainians in their homes and sending in bombs. It is a murderous war started by him uh, in an unprovoked manner. So people who come to Ireland come out of, uh, the majority come out of absolute need. And the Department of Justice who were responsible for the entire, uh, the international protection system um, have, have a, a, a discernment of whether someone is coming from a so-called safe country, a country where there isn't inhumane treatment or torture or there isn't a risk of war, and the people in, that, in those instances are processed much more quickly. Uh, and then, uh, and, and say even since September last year, we've had 500 deportation orders arising out of that m much more quick system. So, uh, but the but language I, I in general, the, the language you. in general is very worrying that we have a politician of a national standing um, being so discriminatory. I, I really, to be honest, I, I'm quite appalled. No, he yes, said, in worries. fairness, he said he is reflecting, he's a politician there for a very long time, with his feet firmly on the ground, with his ear to what local people are saying, that he is simply reflecting the local feelings. But, but politics is also about leadership. And it is also about reminding people of the reality of the fact that there are crises going on in the world that cause people to flee and come to Ireland and that Ireland has international legal and moral obligations to provide refuge and shelter to people seeking a refuge. And also for those, you know, who are uh, coming from, from Ukraine, there is a, a special status for the individuals coming from Ukraine uh, in, in the same as they would from, from a European Union member state. Okay.